Hey guys, back with another YouTube video, and this is another ranked game. I will play ranked every now and then, I have time, but today I decided to rank solo again. I think it's better to rank solo because if you always try to rank with other people and you try to get K, you'll never actually get to your real rank. And I mean, it's more easier with um, pre mates, but it's just like I just don't like the feeling of it anymore. Like, I used to have really terrible luck, but now I figured out a better way to carry my games as a jungler. And I realized it after I realized what's the number one thing I can do to make the enemy jungler life harder. And it's take their red buff. <laughs> so as you can see, Rengar is super tilted. I took his red buff. I ghosted out. Yes, I have Wukong with ghost. If you're wondering if that's a troll or not, I mean... It's 50-50, it depends how you play it. Um, our ADC gets a kill on Rengar, he blows his flash, and now he's actually pretty much useless the entire game now. Now with that said, Rengar is behind, but he can still catch up because he's a fast champion that clears pretty fast. So he does go to blue buff um, later, and yeah. This is kind of hard because I was recording this and I wasn't recording it with my voice, so if I don't miss, if I don't get every single details, I'm sorry about that. But like, basically... I'm recording this because I'm just so done with um, random sometimes, right? I like I'm so used to like the worst luck or just like whatever it is, and people tell me to carry myself out and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like I just rather carry myself versus as try to rely on someone, you know? Um, because not everyone are on the same level as you. No matter how good they play, everyone has a different play style, um, how they play, and how their champs are and how they work so everyone has their own set of unique champs and personalities and characteristics of each character that you like to play so if i like to play like champs like jungler it's because i like to control the game i'm a control freak honestly i like to make sure that the enemy jungler is pretty much useless and i keep traps in that so then i can uh make sure my laners don't die from ganks um now i can't always protect them i can't always babysit them and that's what it is. You're basically a babysitter for your team. You just come in whenever you get a chance, and whenever you don't, then you just farm. That's pretty much it. If you want to be aggressive plays, okay, so for this dragon, the Yasuo made a mistake. He literally windwalled early. He jumped out to zone out, right? But, like, why? You don't need to do that. And then Ezreal stole it because I couldn't smite it. I can't predict the smite if... He tries to jump in or if he tries to steal the ult. So like I smite barely off by 50 HP. If Yasuo just stayed inside the pit and just hit the dragon, bro. Hit the freaking dragon. If they come in, we just kill them. That's it. But like if anything, we have the high ground. They have to try to kill us, right? So they're poking us, right? You have a wind wall. So you definitely want to save your windfall for like when it's like near low so that Ezra ult cannot be hit, right? So I, I personally hated this Yasuo. Like, this Yasuo made my life shit, like, he literally just, he's just so cocky, like, you know, Yasuo players, the definition of cocky players, it's just like Draven players, right? So that's just the way he is, like, he's just gonna do whatever he wants to do, doesn't want to help out, he just does whatever he wants, like, that's so tilting, bro. So after that, that tilted me so much, and being a jungler, you will get tilted, right? Your mentality, or wherever you play, you'll start to realize when you do something, that doesn't go well you start to try to make risky plays to try to get back up um that tilted me so then that's why i was making some risky plays but otherwise this dairy is literally too shot at me I, I can't do anything about that i i literally am the only one trying to face this darius alone because my teammates are literally doing that like instead of helping me they they wait for him to do everything on me i'm pretty much bully i'm a, I'm a, a punching bag right and then they go in and i'm like um, nice. So then I'm tilted even more. So I try to make another risky play. And yeah, it backfired. And I died again. And yes, they are a higher rank than me. Yes, they are. And why am I recording this video? Well, mainly to show you that no matter what rank you are, no matter what high rank you are, low rank you are, I don't give two shits. Like, these players, they don't understand the sense of teamwork. And that is why I said to myself, if I'm always going to have these in my freaking games, and that's why I don't play rank a lot. Either way, I just like, I work and then I'm just 
trying to chill, have fun, playing with friends, experiment, new builds, this jungler, right? That's that's why I like jungling. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, things like... Oh, yeah, right here, he killed Yasuo, then he killed Fiora, and then he killed me. My ult was about three seconds away, but the minion killed me, so I was like, oh, okay, great. Now, I want to say that was bad and good. You know why? Because they finally fucking realized that they should not 1v1 him on their own. It's so stupid, and excuse my language. But, like, these players are ill, bro. Like, they, the only person that I liked was the Lucian and Braum. Like, they were actually pretty good. Like, they actually spotted and helped me out. And, actually, they carried the game. I wasn't even carrying the game. If anything, I did anything useful. Later at the end of the game, I had, like, 6k damage. I did less damage than the Braum. But, if anything, I did something useful. was that I built a build. Because Wukong, you can build them, like, however you want. You can build them tanky. You can build them more damage, more cooldown or speed. We finally got the mother trucker. They finally followed it through. And then I like personally killed uh felt so good after killing him. Like I just felt so good. Like you gotta feel the the, the sense of justice. They like, they finally listened to you. Like they finally listened to the jungler. Now your jungler is stupid, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them if they're making bad plays, right? They're tilted. That's how it is. That's that's how like, every jungler. You wanna work with the best people. And I'm trying my best to make these call outs. I'm trying my best to ping these because I'm actually chat ban. Um, I was like chat ban for like 64 hours. I think I said something like a cuss word. But like, I guess I said it with like your mom. Like I said the F word with your mom. But it was like not even towards like someone that it was like, you know, because the system detects it, right? So I'm like banned from the team chat. So if you don't see me chatting in the team chat, that's really good because I don't have to say anything. I just do the pings. <clears throat> And I noticed that that really I really cannot waste time typing anymore. Like it's I used to be really good where I could just type and outplay them, but it's like yeah, I'm so tired. I have to focus like every single second, every single second counts. So I, I push every wave, right? I try to get towers. We got the kill. And yeah, we're pushing this tower in right now. <clears throat> Thank God the solutions here on our team. He really did carry us and save me. Because at one point in the game, my freaking Whatever Discord called up, and then I was standing still, and they were at near the Elder Dragon or something, and then, yeah, I thought we were going to lose right there, because I was literally gone for, like, 10 seconds, and that's a lot of time, especially in a late game, right? So, this game is, is scary. I was trying to explain this to, like, my, I guess, other higher ELO friends-ish. They're not really my friends anymore, honestly. I don't really care anymore. They don't understand me, whatever, so, like, it's, it's like, they think it's... Being good requires being good and good teammates and everything. It's like, yeah, it's like, of course. But that's never going to be good on you. Like, it's it's just your own pre-made thing, right? Everyone's climbing with their own pre-made. Like, I'm talking about, like, if you want to be really good, you're playing solo all the time. You're carrying, you're being a team player, you're doing what you need to do. Your mentality, okay, right here, especially right here, right here. Right here, everyone died. My Fiora split pushes, and yeah. Um, before that, before this though, uh, I wasn't showing it, but it kind of was fast. They actually got Baron before that, and there's nothing I can do about it. I cannot stop them getting Baron. There's Darius and everyone on it. So I, what I do is I push the wave. You see the map in the middle? I'm the Wukong Monkey. I'm pushing the wave so they can't get as much value on the Baron buff. And the last tower is at the bottom. So that's all we need to do is push that last tower in, and we could win. Um, people always try to do things like early Baron when we could just get towers and just win the game like that instead of Baron because Baron's very risky. If we lose the fight, then we just lose it, and then when they kill us, and then it might be over just like that. You might not need Baron to win the game. Remember that. Like, like people don't know that. Like Baron's only the last call if you really need it, and all the towers are dead and they're all in their base like protecting it. Like that's the only time. So we spot Darius with the ward. And then, yeah, he got flipped again. He got fucked so hard. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about late game. Fiora is pretty strong. Um, luckily, our champ scaled because, like, my champ was not doing any damage. And we won. And the reason why I just wanted to make this video is just my point is I was doing a lot of things by clearing the wave and pushing it out. And then making sure that they don't use their Baron. So, like, even when you're losing hard, even when you're tilted as fuck, even when your teammates are not helping you, there's ways to win the game. You just got to focus. You just got to remember that mentality. And then whatever people say, don't give a crap about them. You just climb like you climb like a mother trucker you are. And guys, peace out. Thank you guys for watching.